How many psychological beings are there inside one's mind? That depends entirely on the person and may even differ case by case. Certainly there are people who have multiple personalities, according to clinical psychology. Presumably there are people who are demonically possessed, at least according to the Catholic Church, and there are definitely an increasing number of people with simple body dysmorphia who prefer to dissociate from reality and identify as something else. Traditionally, these have all been dealt with under one overarching premise, that hearing voices in your head is a bad thing, and that, conversely, having zero interior monologue at all must be a relatively better thing by comparison. This has been the outlook on this form of mental illness for the entire second half of the last millennium. However, before that time, hearing voices was considered a symptom of talking to God and considered a legitimate spiritual, or at the least supernatural, phenomenon. Even Joan of Arc was believed to be in communication with the one true God until she began to lose battles and was branded a witch. The drawback of this argument's contrapositive, that hearing voices is therefore a good thing, is that this is true, even in potential, only part of the time. If the voices one hears are helpful, then hearing them is a good thing. But if the voices one hears are harmful, then hearing them is a bad thing. For example, if the voices in your head can assist you with solving basic arithmetic problems faster, then it would be considered a socially adaptive skill worthy of being further developed. But if the voices in your head only berate and belittle you, then their presence is considered maladaptive and not pro-socially functional thinking. 